Braves baseball on Valley Sports is presented by Truist. Welcome to Truist Park where we have a beautiful pitching matchup tonight with Justin Verlander and Spencer Strider and a fun tele last chance for 300 wins ever. Ronald with a changeup from Verlander down in the corner. It's been amazing the clip he's been able to get off to start a game. Almost third chip, you're the fourth. I didn't even want, I hope you didn't practice it. There we go. Stitch! 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 You can put it on the board! Yeah! Two nothing, Brave. You practiced it. 100%. <laughs> you practiced it. Little Hawk Harrelson for you. Well, just as I said earlier, we get an opposite field home run from Austin Riley. And I ball the other way. This is a four scene fastball. I mean, right down Broadway. Doesn't try to pull it, stays on it. Stays on his backside. He knew we got it. Usually follow pretty good if you can give your pitcher a lead. Travis Darno, Mr. Inside Out. He yeah. lives over there. You, he works so hard in the cage and he never hits a ball. Foot down, get my foot down, make sure the bat head is where it's supposed to be, and let these pitchers provide all the power. Oh, ball goes under Marte's glove. Darno's going to score. Rosario's getting all the way to third. Wow. This is not good. I mean, that ball didn't even touch his glove guy. Either of them have felt the kind of pressure they feel now. And what I mean by that is, think about it from a pitching standpoint, they're, the, they're both going to the Hall of Fame, right? Has not been as sharp, and hitters are getting a higher average off of that. Well, the Braves strike with four hits. Three runs right here by Austin Riley, this man. Braves, three nothing. He's got five for 11 against Strider in his career. And he lines that one at the left center for the first man hit. So Lindor now has a hit in four straight games. And the Mets have a leadoff base runner in the second. Well, that's a good sign. I thought I would lead now at first. And it's pulled through the hole, a base hit for Beatty. Lindor will pull in at second. So Beatty got an 0-2 slider and pulled it through the hole, and the Mets have back-to-back -back hits to start the second. Well, he was going to... 2-2 coming. Lined up the middle, base hit! Lindor around third, he'll come home with the first Met run. Starting Marte bangs one up the middle, behind in the count. Mets with three straight hits to start the second inning, and it's now 3-1 Atlanta. All sliders. Except for Lynn. One two coming. And Pham goes down swinging on the high fastball. Third strike out for Strider, and that's the first out of the inning. He's in the game. You can't pinch hit or pinch run. That's it to center field. Not very deep. On comes Harris, and that's going to drop for a base hit. Beatty will stop at third, and the Mets have their fourth hit of the inning. A little parachute by Narvaez to load up the bases. And Vientos mm -hmm. takes a slider for strike three call. That's unfair. <laughs> well, it was all set up with the fastballs. Tonight, base is loaded two down. And he rips one to deep right field. Back goes Acuna, looks up, and it's out of here! A grand slam from Brandon Nimmo! First pitch indeed! The Mets' third grand slam of the season and the best spot to hit it. A five-run inning for New York, and they lead it 5-3 in the second. Fastball and Nimmo. Nice, compact, short swing. In six career outings against the Mets, and Slider's hooked into right field for a base hit. Well, slider a changeup. Change, change, change up, Garrett. Change. And so McNeil's got a leadoff hit. I don't think he did. It's fascinating to me. He's running again, and Lindor takes inside ball four, and the Mets have the first two men on again. There's the first walk given up by Strider. 
players. 2 2 coming. Line the other way. Beatty's got another base hit. McNeil to third is being waved home. Mazzario's throw will go to third. It's an RBI single for Brett Beatty as he takes one the other way. And it's 6 to 3, New York. And completed a season. All right. Last year he started as a relief pitcher. Right. Made 20 starts. And mm. the fastball gets Marte looking. And that is strikeout number six for Strider. 3 2 on the way. And Pham goes down swinging on the slider. So Strider gets the strikeout he needs, his seventh of the night. Narvaez hits one well to left field, but over toward the line comes Rosario to make the catch. And that retires the side. That's settled for just the one run in the third, and they lead 6 3. He minutes and told me everything. I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> you didn't make anything better. <laughs> I uh, I've seen so many obviously nobody that ever Bounce. has the best record wins the cup. It happens a lot in uh, baseball as well boys. Sheen I mean he is just a tireless worker so it's good to see that work paying off. Except for this about well speaking of hard work and hitters let's take a look at as they're trending towards being out of this uh, out of this game by the. There. That's there he is again. Yep. I'm telling you what, guys, he's making a push to go to the All Star game. He really is. <laughs> and to be honest with you, see that 2 0 changeup with Ronald on deck. Man. It would not shock me. Eight balls in a row. Wow. Good pitch. Really good pitch. All right, fans. It's time to stick Play weather to send Verlander back out there. Gosick has stopped throwing. There's ball four, and so Nemo draws his fourth walk in this series. And that was a 10 pitch extravaganza. Leaf in doubt. Well, ooh, fly ball hit to right center. Back goes Harris looking up, and it's out of here. That ball had carry. Francisco Alvarez goes the other way for a two run homer. His 10th home run. And the Mets get those two runs back. It's now eight to five. What kind of game is this? And what kind of power does this kid have? I thought this was a fly ball to right field. That looked like a routine fly ball that either Harris or Acuna was going to catch easily, and it just kept on going. Wow. Him. Well, he got the barrel on it, but I thought he got under it too much. Oh, my God, that's impressive. And the fastball gets Beatty looking, so Tonkin, fresh off the injured list, strikes out the first man to face him. One out of the fifth. Just that's looped into shallow right center, and that's going to fall for a hit for Marte, his second hit of the night. Now to starter and bring in a reliever who throws less hard. That's lined to left field by Pham, and that's down for a base hit. It hops it against the wall, bounces away from Rosario. Marte to third. He's being waved around by Joey Cora. Thrown to the plate by Arcia. He is out at the plate. Marte tells the dugout to check the replay. He felt as though he got his hand in ahead of the tag from Dardo. If he had slid straight in, he would have been safe. And the Mets are going to challenge the call at the plate. The ball back. Joey Cora sent Marte. He had perfect relay throw. And a perfect throw from Arcia. Good fundamentals right there. I think he's right. He got it in before the tag. The tag happened very oh. late. Yeah, he definitely got the hand he down. Missed, he missed the tag. He, he missed him. Thing. Yeah. Won't play it on crew chief on the headsets. This should tell you right here, I would think. Oh, he swiped and missed. It's whether he got him on the hip 
Let's see if he got him on the hip. I think either way, the hand was down first. Let's see. Oh, he missed him. Yeah, he's safe. After you, the call is overturned. The runner is safe. There you go. That's a good run. Nine to seven. five. So Marte immediately signaled the dugout, and he was pitching to Omar Narvaez. And he hits one in the air to center. Back a few strides is Harris. Tagging it second is Pham. Harris makes the catch. Pham will not try it. <laughs> Wisely. Two out. Two two coming. And Viento sits one off the end of the bat to center. That's going to drive Harris back near the wall. And he makes the catch. That went a long way off the bat of Vientos. The rookie's making the ball carry tonight. Alvarez the home run of the last inning. That one nearly got out. 9-5 mess. Hence, huh. no commercial because of the shoes and then the glove. Whose inning is this? I don't know. Mine! Stretch! Stretch! You can put it on the board! Yeah! <laughs> That's how he came to the park every day, like a young lab. Just to get out of here. Well, this is what we're talking about with the big bear, staying behind the baseball, not hooking that ball like he used to, not flaring it to right like he used to, hitting it right on the button. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Orlando still throwing good ABs up, boys. If when the rubber meets the road in the postseason and guys are, that is an absolute bullet. You better hurry. Thank God it didn't go out. I wasn't ready. <laughs> She's sweating over here now. <laughs> you locked me up. Oh. Stayed off the barrel. Good job by Brigham right there. I can, my flight's not delayed or canceled. That's it to deep center field. Harris going back, takes a look, and it's out of here. Second home run of the night for Francisco Alvarez. He is just showing off the power. 11 home runs now for Alvarez, and the Mets now lead it 10 to 6. That was a laser beam to center field. He is strong. This year, and he has put the H in DH. Well, he crushed that one. Look at Harris, he just pulled up. One just to the left of center. Fastball running in and didn't get in, and he bombed it. And now McNeil lines one at a right center for a base hit. Second hit of the night for Jeff, a one out single. And the Mets just keep on hitting. One for two. And Lindor lines one at a right field for a base hit. McNeil to second, he'll stop there against Acuna's arm. So Lindor has his second hit of the night, and the Mets poised to try and add some more. Lindor has been on point all night long. Maybe you'll have the same results. Yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> there you go. On. Got oh, him. I think got he got him. him. Watch, Watch, it. Watch the guy at third. Yeah. Tom, great call. Great. On your game tonight. And right? there was a screen in first like, base. He got screened right here. <laughs> only two outs. Look at Got him. Nope. Ooh, they're gonna challenge that. Is that Chipper and Matt? Three nine, three four seven. Ooh, oh my goodness, that'll slow him down, Chipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that has happened to all of us at least once. <laughs> but that had to wear a cast for about three or four weeks, and luckily didn't miss the start. He loves playing in there. That's a great play by the young kid over there, Beatty at third. That Man. ball gets by him. It's second and third. Nobody out, and Braves are in business. That was a big league play right there. 
Good extension and nice job, solid throw. Knew the catcher was running, got to his feet, made a good strong throw. Love it. <laughs> Send him. Absolutely. Not a baby wash. There you go. Chip away. And guys, that is Eddie Rosario's 500th career RBI. Congratulations. Board. And Arcia floats one into shallow center. Long run in for Nimmo. Diving, and he made the catch. Tremendous play by Nimmo. You know how deep he plays. He had so far to go to get that ball, and he makes it. Well, you know he's going to get it when if he gets there, and he did. Well, he needed a great jump, he, and he got it. And really quite appreciative. Drew Smith in to face Ronald Acuna. And a double play ball. McNeil with the step and the throw. One pitch, two outs for Drew Smith, and that gets the Mets through the bottom of the seventh. 4-4-3 double play, side retired, 10-7 New York. Continue to put that number over 500. And why Austin. A lot of good things happen, fellas, when you stay inside the baseball. And this was one of the things that we've been harping on. Ryle. Done two other times, most recently, May 2nd, 2020. Chipper, chipper. Chip drive. It's high, it's four. It's gone! Travis Darno with a two-run shot. We got ourselves a ball game, folks. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Larry getting in on the action. <laughs> I had to remind him. He was just going to sit there and let it stall. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at my score. Hanging slider. That one, yep, he knew it. That one's got to feel good. I love that guy. Well done, Chip. Thank you. Yep, now they're getting ready to hopefully turn off the lights. There it is. There it was. Yep. That's the one. That's the one you were looking for, Johnny. Right yeah. there. And that's the that's that tight. Yeah, they got two back. <laughs> Inch closer. <laughs> We're there. He's on the edge when he's successful. Just to make he gets so much weak contact too. Just little fly balls like that. And now a quick message from Zaxby's. At bats. With a homer. With a homer. And one stolen base. Yep. How many how many hits did you guys have? Hits we had. <clears throat> well. 30 hits. 30 hits. That and 90 a, right down the middle. That is a big pitch. That is a big fit. Get out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, Jesse. Great job by Chavez. We go to the bottom of the night. Ozuna, Arcia, and Harris coming up. And Walk off Freshy with the call. I think he's ready to swing and stay aggressive. That's the pitch mindset. Come on. Well, he stayed inside. Oh. oh. Get up. Oh, it's out of here. Tie ball game. <laughs> you were so Put it on the board. Yeah. You were so nervous. <laughs> you were so Get nervous. out of here. Uh, I expected more. I'm not going to lie. A game tying homer, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> uh, Orlando Arcia. 
The dream season continues. Man, this guy with one. It's a high cutter right down the middle. He knew he got it. This boy's got some pop now, man. But that is a nice, controlled, efficient swing. This is not swing from, you know. <clears throat> what a good feeling. 40,000 people. Oh. To their I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> so much for that 122 game streak. Any, any guesses how long he's going to be standing on first? I was going to say first. <laughs> no. Wasn't even close. Walk it off. And that'll do it. Woo! Start the buses. Poor Larry, a crown. Oh, time to eat, man. Boy, it's time to eat. But Mr. Albies did not miss that one. Oh, did that get out in a hurry? What a game. What a game. Unbelievable. Wow. This was, this was fun. I told y'all it couldn't end up any other way <laughs> than a walk-off. We got extra baseball. The last three days, and you can see it here, a spinner right down the middle on 1-0. better feeling in the world. Showed a three-run walk-off to begin the inning. We get a three-run walk-off. That's right. And it we came on the air and this that is that is awesome. That is a feeling he will never forget. Every time you get to beat the New York Mets or a division rival or you know stop on the neck for a sweep, you remember those swings. So happy for Ozzy.